Welcome to the Canadian Investors Course, Session 14, Investment Strategies. As before, terms of use and disclaimer is found on slide two, and we will request that you read it. Page three has the cartoon showing the big bad wolf behind the desk, the three little pigs in chairs. Today's financial advice industry practices applied to the three little pigs. And the big bad wolf is saying, I recommend that you invest in straw houses. There are four approaches to investing. Trend value investing, momentum using ETFs, value investing, and, buy, and the buy and hold 60-40 model. Let's look at each one of them. Approach one, trending value investing. Many popular and successful portfolio managers claim that this investment approach has been the most successful strategy over the last 50 years. It's similar to rules-based investment method that is discussed in session 15. Trending value is exactly that. This method buys fundamentally cheap or value stocks which have momentum. Momentum is a form of technical analysis. Looking at the momentum chart at the bottom below, the, Mi the Microsoft price chart, Microsoft stock is bought as it crosses above the green line and vice versa. The next approach, using moment, momentum using ETFs. This approach is very similar to the previous approach, the value momentum approach, except there is no work required to do fundamental research for the undervalued stocks. The stocks are replaced by ETFs. Basically, using an ETF like SPY, which represents the S&P 500, and trend analysis, this gives the port a, a portfolio that either invests in SPY or cash, depending on the signal given by the trend change. So same idea with the charts before. When the trend lines cross, we either buy or sell. Approach three is value investing. This is pure value investing, buying stocks that are cheap and good value and holding them till they're no longer cheap. The portfolio manager in this approach uses low price earnings ratios, the price divided by earnings, low price to sales ratios, and low price to book ratios, and other parameters to determine to find value stocks. Sometimes uh, it also ends up being a sector rotation strategy too, because it takes advantage of changing stocks and sectors that represent value. Fourth approach is the buy and hold 60-40 approach. This is a very long-term strategy that has rigid allocation. The allocation mix is 60% stocks, 40% bonds. Generally, the investor holds a diversified set of stocks in the 60% portion. The bond side normally is a laddered approach to bonds, spreading the interest rate risk over many bond maturities. This type tends to evolve in a stock market that has been going, that has been going well for a long time. It becomes very unpopular in sideways or bear markets. So here's a summary to these approaches. Go to the specific sessions that you've already watched and listened to and discuss various analysis techniques by looking at fundamental and technical analysis. For example, session four, finding equities. And please don't worry ahead about jumping ahead to review session 15 on rules-based investing. That's the end of this brief segment, segment 14.